Good morning. Yeah. I... I screwed up. I have become way too comfortable on this farm, in this little soon-to-be homestead, my friend's secondary property. He's making his way out of Babylon, and it's just, it's been too, too uh, convenient in Cushman area. We live on the perfectly busy road that's on a, like a very memorable curve that lots of people walk their dogs on the side of the road. It's like the, the perfect road. It's got a lot of traffic. The buses go around here. The buses, everyone sees my sheep. There's no fence on the side of the road out there. And when I graze, when it's not mowed out there, my sheep are grazing like next to the road and it's just been the best way for me to try to get positive alternatives out to the world besides my limited internet reach. Short of going into Babylon or being closer to Babylon where there's more people. I haven't done my duty to connect with enough farms around here to trade enough food to diversify my diet. I've been trying to avert meat my whole conscious living attempt life. I'm going to try to pursue connecting with m more farms like I should have been doing this whole time. But to be honest with you, it's uh, it's kind of difficult. I think that it's kind of intimidating to most farms when you have um, less financial and societal standing on the socioeconomic ladder, but yet you are um, in front of a, a farm that is uh, producing less calories. I think that it's kind of uh, it's kind of like a, a mirror on a lot of farms and farmers insecurities. I'm going to continue recommending that people who want to be farmhands with a wagon like this and dairy animals will first find at least two farms that they can uh, have as a plan B in case the first one falls through and then I think that it is absolutely imperative that you find a third one with that grace. With your two farm grace that you can bounce back and forth from, then you need to find a farm that's somewhere in between and uh, and then start circling out from there and finding more farms. Because I'll seek to work trade on farms, as many farms as I can for free, work trade for the the young goats and sheep that farmers have the most difficulty um, rehoming. Uh, the market for farmers to sell their animals is getting more and more restricted by the environmentalists. And so I want to encourage, continue to encourage local food production, uh, particularly with um, animal, with livestock, because humans need that diversity. We cannot have our diets cornered into a subpar artificial diet of fewer and fewer monocrop GMO vertical farming, warehouse farming that Bill Gates has been funding and pushing for uh, along with his lab grown meat and along with his wanting to proposing to block out the sun supposedly to help us with global warming it's just another one of his strategies to long haul monopolize our food supply and I don't even think it's him particularly I think that Bill Gates is just a puppet he's just being presented to us as one of the richest people in the world Tesla too Tesla is not on our side he's staged opposition Bill Gates is staged opposition he's a front man for 
the globalists, the bankers, the people who actually own the printing machines, the money printing machines. I think that uh, that uh, creating a new backbone for the United States, at least, through educating and then organizing uh, farmhands, free farmhands that can work trade on the struggling small farms, bolstering their local food security and preventing them from selling, having to sell their farms out to um, Bill Gates, who also is the largest farmland owner in America as of this last year. He has slowly been creeping to try to monopolize our actual farmland. Him and BlackRock Corporation are the two biggest farmland owners in America and it's clear that they're trying to monopolize our food supply by putting the small struggling farmers out of business through environmental regulations that uh, hinder their their abilities on their farms particularly within uh, uh, livestock because globalists know that uh, livestock is um, the most efficient way to produce calories and the broad spectrum of nutrients uh, that we need to uh, support our our health and the low fat high carbohydrate high vegetable intake fiber intake um, protocol that they've been conditioning us with to follow is one of it's it, it's the worst and most detrimental diet that they could be directing us animal livestock is the backbone of our health and I need to create a backbone to support its continued efficiency of production and the way that I have been shown to do this is to create a network of free farmhands that can help facilitate those struggling small farmers with uh, their local food production. This, this will also help the struggling small farmers who m majority of them seem to be um, aging. It will help them to not only not have to sell by being put out of business but when they go to um, to pass away they can hopefully choose to pass along their farms to their farmhands and the farmhands will hold on to the land instead of selling it out to Bill Gates and BlackRock and the globalists so I'm starting a website to connect to mine called freefarmhands.org that not only means that they are free to be contacted and uh, connect with to farmhand for you for free in exchange for just food barter uh, minimal work for um, more minimal work for more minimal pay it won't be anything like wolfing anything it won't be anything like slave labor because each of these farmhands is going to be after vetted um, will be helped to fundraise for a wagon like this so that they can be empowered to leave the farm if they don't like the um, the conditions um, and they can um, move along to another farm so it won't be anything close to a wolfing or a modern a modern slavery um, situation like wolfing where they will work you like four hours a day six days a week or something like that in exchange for just education and food and a place to camp it'll be like a poor man's wolfing program freefarmhands.org uh, will also signify the fact that these farmhands are going to be seeking freedom and they themselves will be the freest people in the country and hopefully we can get this to spread around the world. Good morning, chickens! Yeah. All right, you guys got water. Oh, God, thank you. Life is so ridiculous. Oh, God, help us all hang in there.
help us learn, help us be open-minded enough that we can roll with your punches, roll with your lessons. I don't think that it's good to consume more than for my weight, 125 pounds. Um, I don't think it's good to, for me to consume more than a half gallon a day. So when I get back into this, I'm going to try to use the other couple tethering points on the side of my wagon to haul the meat goats or sheep that, uh, that I work trade for on the farms. I think that using this wagon to gorilla graze a meat goat or sheep that I work trade from the farms uh, will be actually a more efficient way of sustaining human life, a more sustainable way of uh, sustaining human life than dairy even because if you add up all the nutrients and vitamins that are in the, the carcass of, of a small goat or sheep, it is way more complete. It's completely complete. Whereas sheep milk is, is not complete. Sheep milk is, is the most complete food substance and most nutritious food substance next to um, liver and, uh, and the, the animal itself is the way I'm looking at it now instead of one part. Um, eating the entire animal is the most efficient way that we could be using these wagons. Hauling one animal at a time to gorilla graze them. Um, gorilla graze them long enough that you can um, you can make sure that they aren't grain based, that they have uh, vitamin K2 in their fat, which uh, isn't in the fat of grain based herbivores that, that haven't been fed chlorophyll. Herbivores that have chlorophyll have vitamin K2 in their fat, and that's one of the most important new vitamins that scientists have been finding lately. Uh, Weston A. Price found it like 50 years ago. Um, he called it Activator X <laughs> or Vitamin X or something like that. Um, and they, uh, they've they known about it since then, but they've tried to suppress it and it just came out um, recently and they're still, it's not mainstream news. Its job is to direct the calcium in your body uh, to the places it's supposed to be, like your bones and your teeth. So without Vitamin K2, it gets haphazardly deposited around your body and uh, most detrimentally um, into the lining of your arteries and causes calcification. The calcium causes calcification of your arteries which makes them uh, rigid and they can't, they can't flex with the pumping of your, your blood. So it puts stress on your heart, causes all the heart diseases and um, it also calcifies your pineal gland which makes it much harder for your your antenna, your receiver, to receive directions from from everything upon praying. My Rosie, you ready to milk, Mama? Good sheep, yeah. I rode a around, yeah. Yeah, I rode a around, yeah. My little rosy mama, yeah. Yeah. Cause she, yeah. What a good mama. Oh, yeah, I think that all the different parts of a butchered livestock a goat or a sheep in particular. All the different parts from the brain to the eyeball, the liver, the kidneys, everything is, uh, the testicles are excellent. If you've never tried testicle meat, it's the best meat that I've ever had. Um, and I think that all of those, especially if uh, eaten raw like our primal ancestors did, um, I think that the amount of nutrients are much more complete than this sheep milk and so it actually makes more sense to use this wagon 
uh, these wagons, and it makes more sense for people in the future to use these wagons to uh, to gorilla graze at least uh, one animal at a time that they are um, flushing of all of the the farm's antibiotics or uh, grain and parasites. You can parasite cleanse them, give them garlic, knock those out, feed them a bunch of chlorophyll, get their vitamin K2 up, and then and then uh, butcher them and eat the, their entire being. And I think that that is uh, clearly, to me, becoming the way that uh, that we are going to be able to s sustain um, sustain humanity outside dependence on the artificial economic system in Babylon. God help us. Goodness help us. Yeah. Good girl, Uzi. Yeah. You ready, Mama? Let's do it. Let it go. You don't want to mix your warm milk with your cold milk. It'll sour faster. Hey, Rosie. Good girl, Rosie. Good girl. Yes. Mama, you gotta do more of this coaxing. Massaging it down. Letters are like a big sponge. Can't squeeze it. Yeah, can't, can't squeeze it like a sponge. Damage. So you gotta like lightly coax it down. About the same as their babies. Their babies are a lot rougher on them than I am. When they get to be like three months old, they'll lift their mom completely off the ground, bumping up into her udder. If you think that's hard bumping right now, they bump like ten times harder than that. Thank you, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Good sheep. Scratches, butt scratches, butt scratches, butt scratches. All right, go on. Good girl. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm going to um, try to haul around Gorilla Grays, a meat sheep at a time, or a meat goat at a time. And usually they're younger when people are trying to get rid of them. So that'll play into it being a, a smaller portion that's more easily managed and preserved. Um, in, in a wagon and with a wagon and the tools that I'm able to carry. Um, I have my little fold down, little fold down, um, it's this big and when it opens up it's a herb drying rack, a hanging herb drying rack. It's like, uh, mine's only three la layers because I cut off the bottom layers, but um, the three layers fit perfectly in here. So I have been taking meat that I've been trading from a neighbor my neighbor's cows, and I've been using my mandolin slicer uh, to shave off thin slices and hang them uh, to dry in that herb dryer, and they're drying into really, really tasty beef jerky. So I think that it'll be a good uh, method for people, for, for free farmhands in the future, to have these wagons and to tote around um, a meat a meat goat or a meat sheep at a time uh, in order to be able to butcher and have the complete nutrients that they that they need um, that are in that whole carcass 
compared to compared to trying to haul around multiple dairy sheep to keep them in milk to provide them with as close to that as uh, nutritionally as possible. It's not going to be as close. You're going to have to carry more dairy sheep and you're going to have to care a lot about them and be worried about them and their safety and um, their training and um, uh, it's just going to, uh, in a post-apocalyptic situation, I just don't see um, that getting any easier. Um, if they, if the environmentalists uh, try to come to say that your uh, your animals are part of the animals on the list uh, to be cold, and because of some disease that the elite are purporting, um, they've been doing this for years over in Europe and Australia, and they're starting to do it in New Zealand. Um, where they are very dependent on livestock and I think that um, having the meat is uh, I think that, that meat gorilla grazing will actually be a lot more practical it'll be easier and it'll be healthier for uh, free farmhands in the future good girl my rosy My Mooma, my Mooma, my little dairy mama, my Mooma. She, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next. Who wants to be next? Tastes good, good just licking the jars clean. I love sheep milk. Gotta help my gut heal so I can come back to it and revere it more and not overdo it. All right, freefarmhands.com and .org were available. I just bought them. Uh, they were only 10 and uh, $12 for a year. Uh, I had to pay an extra ten dollars so hackers wouldn't be able to steal it. The protection program. So thirty bucks, we got free farm hands domain, and I'll be able to connect that to a page, a new page that I'll create on One Two Three Home Free, and I think One Two Three Home Free will stand as a uh, the front page at least will stand as a very rudimentary um, introduction and education to farm handing. Um, and tools to help you farmhand starting out with the uh, the face look shirts and the face look uh, stickers that you put on these wagons to um, communicate with the farmers around you that you're a farmhand uh, free farmhand looking to work and the second tool that's on the front page of the 123 home free website is uh, the survival credit card which obviously uh, can help people um, maintain themselves outside of Babylon when they're looking for to connect with farms especially after crap hits the van and then there are the uh, wiki currency dollars that I'm going to start printing out again and using as my form of barter it's one of my form main forms of barter and uh, along with the sleep slip dollars so that all the places that I have permission to graze my sheep and park um, I will have the ability to, uh, I will have a vouch for when, uh, if a cop ever uh, questions us on why we're sleeping uh, on the side of the road in that field. And then under that, all the YouTube videos that uh, help, help to educate about uh, different farm handing methods or um, items that you can DIY in order to facilitate this type of lifestyle. So, we're going to go in and connect this to the existing site.
why it's not working. All right, let's try it another way. Domains, all domains. There's always like two or three different ways to do the same damn thing on these websites. It's so confusing. Managed GNS, that's where it was. So confusing, especially when they change up the way their website looks. You have to relearn everything. It's so confusing. I hate internet crap. Not my specialty. But I've had to learn how to do it over the years. Because I can't pay someone to do all this. Alright. Um, where is it at? What do we do? Forwarding. Here we go. Add forwarding. Let's see. Temporary destination URL. What is the problem with this? Why is it? There you go. Success. They're always trying to do this. They're always trying to sell you these new things using fear. Make sure your website is safe and always online. I just paid an extra $10 a year for the service of double <laughs> double uh, verification of my account so that hackers supposedly can't steal it. What is this ad premium DNS? Huh. I'm going to have to call uh, GoDaddy because I don't want to add this premium DNS uh, to this web to this domain if it's actually, I need to apply it to um, the 123homefree.org actual central address. So I'm not going to pay money to do something to the secondary website when it's the f primary that I need to be protecting. So I'll call them later. GoDaddy is really helpful. Your customer service has been the best. Alrighty. Back, back out. And go to farm, freefarmhands.org now and do the same thing. freefarmhands.com.org It's taking a while to load the photos. There we go. I need to figure out how to make these load, make everything load faster. The pages and stuff. I think I gotta pay more.
This was the Home Free Hostels project. Maybe I can try to help establish these two. Do it yourself handcart home. With the blueprints to how to make this wagon. Yeah, wear paneer packs for your goats or sheep using election sign material. How to map up, map out all the wild edibles and fruit and nut trees in your community. And I provide it here for Ashlanders. My box felting method, the DIY door sandals invented, were invented through me. All this stuff is, is invented through me. I didn't invent any of this. This is all spirit. How to milk a milk sheep holding the bottle sideways so that nothing falls inside. I need to change that thumbnail to the bottle being held sideways. Evaporative felt, evaporative coolers. Poop cups. Oh, the collapsible hobo stove. So this is all gonna serve as like basic education. and item empowering content on this front page for the future free farmhands. They're gonna need a gonna need a shelter if they don't have this wagon. They're gonna need to know about these instant teepee poles for their wearable wearable tent. You're gonna need to know how to get the lice off themselves if they get infested with lice. You gotta put put a tree sap into a tin can and cover it with a uh, with a bunt pan or a ring pan, and anything that's con that you can get to be convex to fit on top of that and fill with water. This is a hubcap. Um, I've also used um, upside down. Um, old school dog bowls. And I got a duplicate there. Video. I need to take the hobo distiller off the end. Yeah. One, two, three, home free.